What is up YouTube? Sour Pack James back at it again. Hope everyone is doing well, watching some wrestling, enjoying the hobby. Uh, today got a really fun one. We're going to look at some new product, check out a care package, and check out all of my latest pickups from the last, I don't know, two or three months. So should be a good one. Uh, before we get to all of the fun, if it's your first time checking out the channel, thank you so much for watching. And please hit the subscribe button if you enjoy what you see. And for all of those who have been watching, uh, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. With that out of the way, today let's look at, uh, let's start off with WWE Living Set. Uh, just got this in the mail. Uh, if you haven't heard, uh, Living Set from Topps is, uh, they do it in baseball and I think they're Star Wars. So basically every week um, they have two cards up for sale and you have that week to order it. And after the end of the week, they cut it off. And in the next week, there's two new cards. So they just started this uh, off about maybe a little over a month ago. And so uh, each card's about $7.99. Or you can buy the two cards for $11.99. If you like the particular card and you want to buy like a, a batch of it, um, you can buy like 20 cards. And then it would work out to be about $3.75. So... Uh, pretty interesting concept. Uh, they basically take the 1985 uh, Topps WWF design and have like uh, artist portraits. And uh, I think the artist they are using is Dan Bergen. And so I just got this in the mail, number one and number two. So let's check it out, see how it is. Um, it's basically a set that never ends until whenever Topps uh, decides it ends. So that's why it's a living set. So let's see how it looks and here we go got a nice little cover here check that out see pretty nifty and take this off so okay so this is actually number I think three and four so so number four I got here is I see a three or four but we got the Miz they got Mrs. Ms. Maurice. So there you go. Pretty cool. Not too bad on the artist. Like the design. Um, so it's from the 1985 Tops design. So that's why it's got the throwback there. So there you go. Got Maurice number four and the Ms. number three. I think for this week it's the Undertaker and uh, Jeff Hardy. So there you go. I'm not sure where my um, earlier order of number one and number two is. So I thought it was going to be that. So. Um, pretty surprised it, this it came out to be The Miz and Reese. Uh, so there you go. So check that out. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested. Uh, even if you missed out on weeks, I don't know, one through four, um, you can still find the cards on eBay. People, I think, have bought um, them in batches. So if you're a set collector, I think there's still a possibility to collect all the sets. Uh, personally, I've just been picking and choosing the uh, ones that I like. So I did pick up the Jeff Hardy and Undertaker. So... Uh, check that out if you guys enjoy so leave a link down below so not too shabby pretty interesting especially if you're gonna if you're into like signings and getting like maybe a wrestler to sign it so I think that's pretty nifty there so that is tops living set uh, next up let's go with our care package so uh, received a care package here from uh, Mike from winless champs if you haven't um, checked out his channel go ahead and check out his channel Awesome, awesome dude in the community. Opens up a uh, basketball and football, and just overall cool, cool dude. And yeah, he saw some tops chrome, and without you know, from the kindness of his heart, bought it and sent it over. Um, so you know, Mike's a really good guy. Awesome channel. Love his content. So be sure to give him a subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, he just knows I do the wrestling thing, and just thought of it. So let's see. And uh, yeah, so here you go, Mike here, James, thank you for always supporting my channel. I meant to send this to you a long time ago. Hope you pull some fire. Thank you so much, Mike. Awesome, awesome. So so yeah, let's open up some Tops Chrome, Winless Champs. Follow him on YouTube and Instagram. Very cool. Uh, really appreciate it, Mike. Did not have to do this, so let's check it out. Looks like we got a little... A uh, fat pack and a blaster box, and let's open up some Topps Chrome. See who we get. Oh, probably the best design of 2020. What do you guys think? I don't know. Probably my favorite, for sure. Maybe it doesn't have the best uh, auto uh, 
checklist, but that's okay. Let's see if we can get any hits from here. So, Marcel, uh, R Truth, Nia Jax, Jimmy Uso, Finn Balor, got a refract, or got an insert of the Godfather. These are the legends. Very cool looking cards. And then we got a very nice Undertaker versus Finn Balor fantasy matchups. See, it just looked great. You know, it's undeniable. Got a refractor of Kevin Owens. Charlotte, we got Jay Uso, Naomi, and then Rusev. So there we go. That is our fat pack. Let's check out this blaster box. I'm not sure where my box cutter is. I've got the scissors. Poke it in. Let's see if we can end the streak of blaster boxes with uh, an auto. I haven't got an auto out of any of the top's finest tops chrome um, at all. So. Let's see if this ends here. Wouldn't mind some parallels. Very cool. Here's our X Fractor pack. Put that aside. Let's see what we got. Pack number one. So we got Triple H, Lana, Jeff Hardy, and then a Refractor of the Fiend, Bray Wyatt. Very cool. Next pack. Um, so it's yeah, it looks like official 2021 Tops Chrome is going to be coming out. Um, a few wrestlers have like um, posted on their Twitter pages like they're signing the cards, so you actually get to see the designs and they look great. Um, really excited for them. So uh, it's gonna be great once they come out. So hopefully they stick to the June date. I think that's the target, but we'll see. Got this nice shocking wins. That aside, we've got a fractal of Drew McIntyre. Will he face Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania? Probably. Congrats to Bobby Lashley finally getting the belt. Um, yeah, and just overall with the Hurt Locker, they've done a, a great job promoting those guys. And there you go, Bobby Lashley. There's a champ. He just never ages. He just, you know, it's crazy. Uh, got this nice Vader and show, and got a refractor of Ivar. Um, so that's probably the direction they're going to go with uh, Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre. So that should be interesting. And we'll see if they'll have any fans or not. It is in Florida. So, you know, you can squeeze in, what, 10 or 15% of fans, I guess, in sports uh, events. But we'll see. And we've got our fractor of Mandy Rose there. Very cool. So, but we got fast lane before WrestleMania, so you know, it'd be interesting who they put on that. Um, excited for Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks. That should be awesome. Then we got a Kushida Refractor, and then uh, what is it? Edge and Roman Reigns. Um, yeah, that should be good too. So, pretty, I would say a pretty solid WrestleMania lineup thus far. Here, Matt Riddle, got another shocking wins. And then, is there, I felt like it was like a thick card here. I don't know why. But um, very cool, a refractor of Rhea Ripley. And she should be debuting on the uh, main roster pretty soon. So that's very exciting to see where they take her. Really high on her. Then we got Fabian Archer, Walter. Mustafa Ali and Refractor of Bailey. So very cool. And there you go. So that is our blaster box of tops, chrome, some pretty good stuff here. Uh, really appreciate it, Mike. Thank you so much for thanking me. And uh, yeah, once again, if you haven't checked out his channel, go ahead and check out Winless Champs. Um, awesome, awesome stuff. And give him a subscribe. Really cool dude. And thank you once again, Mike. So uh, so that is our care package. And next up, let's go through. Oh, actually, we got a refractor pack. Duh. Here we go. Just laying there as I put away cards. Let's see who we get here. So we got Jimmy Uso, Finn Balor, and then finish it off with Elias. Walking with Elias. Awesome designs. Very, very cool. So I think got sort of the way here. All right. So... Yeah, once again, thank you so much, Mike. Uh, next up, 
uh, ever since, uh, yeah, new products starting with Undisputed, Tops Chrome, NXT, fully loaded. Just being picking up all sorts of stuff in my uh, for my collection. Just guys or wrestlers that I don't have stuff for the PC. Um, so this is over the course of like maybe I don't know what three or four months. Um, no, in particular order. I try to group them up as best I can. So we're just gonna go over them and yeah. So starting off, we got uh, Johnny Gargano, Top's Finest, Green Parallel at ninety nine. We got Base uh, Auto of Ricochet. And we got this Io Shirai Undisputed of 199. Always an awesome uh, autograph from Io. Then we got this Bailey from this women's division. Very, very cool. And got Cesaro, tops minus. I hope I picked this one up, or it could be something I pulled. I wasn't really sure, but I, you know, I still love Cesaro, so I just had to show it off. And then we got uh, Cassio's Ono or Chris Hero from NXT. Very cool. We got Bobby Fish. So sad about the Undisputed Era, but uh, it is what it is. Then we got this Johnny Gargano uh, out of 99 from NXT. Of course, got, got Adam Cole. This one is out of 99. Then we got uh, Jessica Menduke, first NXT card. Big fan of her uh, YouTube gaming channel. And then we got Shinsuke Nakamura. Big Nakamura fan. So this is from Undisputed out of 199. Uh, next up, I went on a little like Tessa Blanchard phase. Um, if you don't know, she's like a pretty big uh, women's wrestler on the independent scene. Um, she's wrestling in Mexico and in uh, Impact. So it will be interesting where if she ends up in any of the, I guess, two big companies. So I got this Triple uh, A card and it's signed. So that's pretty cool. Got the All In, um, the AEW event from 2018. Got a couple of those signed. And then I got from Leaf Wrestling ultimate ring queen i don't think this is numbered or not maybe not but there you go so be uh yeah she's really good in the ring so it'll be interesting where she ends up if she'll end up anywhere so i picked up those okay next up we got uh kyle o'reilly one of my favorites out of undisputed got this base autograph of mandy rose from top's finest followed by Liv morgan uh top's finest base autograph and then you got kushida Look at that awesome fun autograph there from Topps Finest. Always got to get the Nakamura from Topps Chrome. And then this is a uh, Chris Jericho's uh, at least first WCW rookie card. Uh, does have some, I think, uh, I'm not sure if it's AAA or CMLL. So he has cards prior to that. But if you're looking for a WCW from his rookie year, this is one of them. So glad to pick that up. Pretty cool there. And then we got this, um, the Iconics, Tops Finest Dual Auto. I missed them. Um, yeah, still don't know why they uh, broke them up. So there you go. And you got Sheeta from AEW. So hopefully uh, the cards from um, AEW comes out from Upper Deck soon this year. But uh, found this card. This is like a uh, Japanese brand, obviously. So picked that up. And then I picked up a couple of early cards. So this is uh, Sasha Banks from Tops Chrome. And then we also got Bailey from Top Chrome. So these are their very first uh, early, I guess, I don't know, w WWE license cards. I think uh, Sasha actually has a uh, earlier card from her uh, developmental days. So decided to pick those up. Uh, next, got this Tegan Knox Top's Finest. Uh, got this one really cheap because of the ding corner, if you can see it there. So uh, got ding, so obviously I have to pick up another one. So I got this green parallel one out of 99. So. There you go. Hope she, uh, you know, gets back soon. Then we got uh, Hideo Tommy or Kenta, big Hideo Tommy Kenta fan here. And then we got uh, the, his best friends, the Iconics. We got the Billy K, and then we got Peyton Royce from a rookie year card. And then we got this weird uh, Britt Baker, I guess like independent drawing card. Um, it was really cheap, so I just picked it up. Fan a bit. Uh, Britt Baker from AEW got Adam Cole from Undisputed very cool there I think on some of his cards maybe the ones that are listed number one or really um, limited ones will actually write the Bay Bay so I've seen those a few times and we got the Charlotte from SummerSlam Mandy Rose from uh, Women's Division got this really cool Topps Chrome one love the color out of 50 very awesome card 
And then we got finally a Rhea Ripley uh, auto from her rookie year. This is out of Top's Finest, uh, not 99. Yeah, just been missing her auto out of Undisputed, Top's Chrome, Top's Finest, um, fully loaded, NXT. And then finally I was able to get this one from Top's Finest. Ooh, and then there's more. Uh, so I actually picked up from Fully Loaded. We got this awesome Cesaro tables relic there. You can kind of see the table. Pretty cool. Love this stuff. Uh, and then we got this Becky Lynch mat relic. I think this is out of 199. It is from 2018 Evolution. So big autographs on the mat relic. Really, really cool. Obviously, we, we got to get Nakamura. Here's the tables. Um, nice stuff. And pretty sure this is out of 99. Then we got AJ Styles. Got to got got to get some AJ and look at his ladder. See the texture there. Pretty cool. This is out of 50 from Money in the Bank. And then we got another AJ Styles, Matt Relic. Awesome looking cards. Hopefully they bring it back next year. This is out of 199. And this is from uh, WrestleMania. So there we go. Pretty cool there. Uh, got this Carmella, Matt Relic, out of 199. And then finishing it off with the boss, Sasha Banks. So. Uh, the black ones, you know, luckily this is pretty decent, but I've seen a few of them that where the uh, actual autograph, you can hardly see it. But um, hey, this one, they did a pretty good job there. So there you go. This is out of 99 from Takeover Brooklyn. Okay, and then we're going to finish off with this round. So we got from Top's Finest, Alexa Bliss, Nikki Cross, Dual Auto from Top's Finest. Uh, another tag team that I kind of miss. Mostly because I don't really like what they're doing too much with Alexa Bliss. Just, she's really not wrestling. And then Nikki Cross, I find very entertaining. So there's that. And then we got the role models. Sasha Banks, Bailey, dual auto from Tops Minus. Very, very cool. Base autos, but still definitely take that. And then I was finally able to get the uh, Tony Storm first NXT auto. That was the big chase uh, last year from the NXT box. So got a good deal out of this from Tony Storm. And then last, certainly not least, it is the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. My favorite pickup, Brett the Hitman Hart from uh, Leaf Wrestling. This is Ultimate and Trying out of 25. Very, very cool card. Um, so my goal is really to get a WWF, WWE licensed Bret Hart card, but those can get pretty pricey, but uh, the hunt still continues. So there you go, my latest pickups from last I don't know, three, four months or so. So let me know what you guys think. Um, any pickups you guys had lately? Any of this stuff you guys enjoy? Um, yeah, let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, and if you're going to try some um, Living Tops WWE Living Set, leave a link down below for that. So there you go. If you have Instagram, my Instagram is Sour Pack James for all my latest video notifications and pickups. And uh, until next time, enjoy the hobby. Watch some wrestling. It's been real.